Hey, this is Sam Black with my third match with uh, Blue Red Fairies in Modern. Um, I'm on the draw with a very reactive hand um, that, uh, well, basically this hand is going to be really good in some matchups and really bad in others. Um, I think against an unknown opponent I'm going to mulligan this. Um, but I have no idea if that'll... I mean, there are some matchups where this hand is totally perfect, but I don't think I want just three ways to interact with creatures and four lands, although the Mute Vaults make it a little tempting to keep. Um, but I'm going to send this back and not feel great about doing it, and then I'll keep this. And I'm going to put this on the bottom since I don't have enough mana to cast it right now. So I traded a... Vapor Snag and two lands for an Ancestral Vision and a Spell Snare and a Scry. I think that's a fine exchange. This hand's probably a little bit better. Don't know if I'm going to leave up Spell Snare or Suspend Visions. Kind of depends on what my opponent's playing. Um, the fact that they know about Spell, spell Snare makes leaving it up worse. same time if my opponent is Storm, which those cards indicate they might be giving them a window to resolve a two mana spell is pretty bad, so I'm just going to pass. Especially since I drew another untapped land, so that next turn I can have a mana up and suspend visions. Vision. Um, I think I'm just going to let this resolve. Um, so this is to go up to five mana. I think I let this resolve also. I still think I let this resolve, but I don't know if this is the one I was supposed to counter. This seems fine. If I counter this, my opponent's turn is definitely over. But I'm not sure that I'm afraid of it resolving. 
think I just let it resolve. I think my opponent's just trying to do things to get to resolve the Pyromancer Ascension. I'm going to play the Mute Vault so I can start attacking with it. I think it's worth taking the two damage here rather than leaving up Manly and Spell Snare. this resolve. This I'm going to counter. pass now and leave spell stutter and mana leak or spell stutter for two. Especially since I have the ancestral vision coming next turn. Uh, I don't think I need the damage here. Uh, I think I want to just get my value. Lightning bolts until it's lethal. I have plenty of mana. And these can interact with Electromancer. This is the one that's not summoning sick. So one nice thing about attacking with Mutavolt there is it put my opponent to the point where the two lightning bolts are lethal if my opponent spends two life on a probe. Alright, so I want Dispel, Negate, and Remand, and I don't want Electrolyze, and... I don't want 
one paper snag. And I think Bolt is fine because it kills Electromancer. Uh, I could see cutting Fairy Miscreant because Spellster is good enough without it. Um, alternatively, I could just cut some like Mistbind type stuff and assume that I can win with the small ball action. Yeah, I think just counter spells and ancestral vision is enough to win, and I don't need misbind click. Let's see, spell snare is really good. Having one mana is really bad. I don't think I should keep one land hand on the draw here. We will keep this top. I need a way to interact. I have to suspend vision and hope that dispel is enough to buy time for vision to go off, basically. That's definitely not what I wanted to see. So now I have Snapcaster Dispel up. I'm basically just trying to counter anything to stop my opponent from getting momentum to build up Pyromancer Ascension and to ensure that I have time for a vision to resolve. Even that is good enough to buy the counter. Since it makes it a lot easier to turn on Ascension and my opponent's down to two cards. So I'm really just trying to win a raw card advantage battle here. And now I basically have no choice but to race. My opponent has no hand. I'm just trying to end the game before they draw a string of cards that turn on ascensions. And I lose if the ascensions ever get active. So I'm certainly at the point where I need to just counter anything. You know, once I have counter spells. Which I'm hoping this will help with. Great. I'm going to draw stuff in Dillion here. Serum Visions. 
Well, no. I don't care about the Ascension, because one more or less of those doesn't matter. I think I might actually allow Serum Visions so that I can just counter it without triggering these. If I get rid of it, I risk my opponent drawing a probe or a Thought Scour. So I think I just leave these and counter the Vision. It's a little weird to leave my opponent with a card I know I have to counter, but um, my opponent is on ex an extremely short clock, so I think it makes sense. Not casting the other Pyromancer Ascension is interesting. Um, I assume it's done to try to turn on Desperate Ravings for a different card. Now I just spell stutter anything and then win. All right, that felt like a pretty good matchup. Uh, I have all the right cards. Um, spell snare is absolutely huge, and ancestral vision makes this matchup way better. I think uh, being able to play games the way I played this one. Where, I don't, where I'm not at all selective about what I counter, I just counter all of their random cyclers and then refuel with Ancestral Vision and I'm far enough ahead that it didn't matter that I was being indiscriminate 